Okay. So. Do I get to release all these prisoners? Are they gonna help me riot? Uh, that's, that's up to you. <laughs> Olivier. Yes. You awaken with a groan to find yourself laying across a cold stone floor. Your head is pounding, and the salty sea air of Port Hildian smells a little damper and moldier than you recall. Sitting upright, you nurse your bruised left shoulder with your mechanical hand and take in your surroundings. A clammy and dimly lit cell surrounds you, secured shut by an iron-barred door. You vaguely recall the city guard breaking up another drunken bar fight, but nothing after that. It isn't your first time to be stuck in a cell. But you know the guards occasionally tend to leave people in here longer than they're supposed to, just to discourage any future disturbances. And you're not keen on being here again. As you're contemplating your situation, you hear the clap of guard boots making their way towards you, and the voice of a struggling child cursing his escorts. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. We got a fucking kid. The footsteps pause outside your door, and the glow of torchlight fills your cell. With a lurch, your door opens, and the guards step inside, each holding a young, green-cloaked man by the arm. Welcome back, they say as they toss the boy onto the ground. He crashes onto the stone, his curses halting for only a moment, and jumps to his feet. The guards quickly step back out of the cell, and you hear a click as the lock fastens shut once again. The torchlight moves out of sight, and the area becomes dim once again. Nursing his bruised elbows, the boy turns, looking over at you. It's your lucky day, lady, he tells you. We're getting out of here. Looking around the cell, he says, I hate this place, but I know it like the back of my hand. <laughs> you come here often? More than I'd like. It's part of the job, you know. Uh, looking him over, you can see he's... Uh, like your typical urchin you've seen uh, these kids like running around the street and he's probably just a grubby little street rat um, mm. as he's glancing you over he notices your mechanical arm and he asks you look pretty tough can you fight with that thing well I sure as hell can't bake with it <laughs> well I'm going home one way or another if you can help me in return, I can help get you out of here, too. Mmm, sure. You sure you can't do it in, like, ten minutes, though? My head is pounding. Mmm, he kind of glances at you, and then he comes over to the edge of the stall, uh, to where the door is, and just kind of peeks down at the glow of lamplight down the way. And he says, like, that's up to how effective you are, but I can hold up my end. And he kind of points down the hall. And he says, the guard at the end of the hallway has the cell key on him. They are holding my arm, so I couldn't get it before. But if you can lure him close enough or into the cell, I can steal it off his person. That should be pretty easy. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me just make some noise here real quick. So I want her to, like, kind of just... Use her metal hand, be like, tamp, tamp, tamp on the bars. And just be like, hey... Hey, give a girl a drink or some food or something and just like making uh, chests at the guard and trying to. You, you kind of got your it. arm like waving out and the guard at the end of the hallway says, hey, keep your hands inside the door. <laughs> I'm just going to keep banging the metal bar with my metal arm so it's even louder. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and roll me a performance Thanks. check. Okay, so how? Oh, jeez. At advantage, because you've got all the time in the world to just whack away at this thing. Performance, so it'd be what plus my death. Uh, performance oh, is plus your charisma. Right? Is it the D twenty? Yeah, it's a D twenty plus your charisma. And you can roll this with your own dice if you prefer. The macro is just there in case you need to roll something you don't have immediately available. I'm just going to try to use the macro because then everyone can see it and it kind of keeps the transparency. Okay. Plus two. Not that I would cheat, but I'm just saying if people were ever questioning 
I'd be like, ha, I did it on- shut up, phone. Yeah. I did it on the thing. I mean, sometimes the roll 20 dice roller is just kind of janky, and you will get, like, shitty rolls for the entire session for whatever reason, so some people, myself included, just prefer using their own dice. I don't- I don't mind that. I trust you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, um... Oh, that wasn't even an advantage. You just did a good job. So yeah. this guy, pretty annoyed, <laughs> uh, comes over, and he's the guard's looking you in the face, and he says, What do you want? Quit making that racket. Well, maybe if you gave me some more beer, I would stop making a ruckus. Uh, he kind of glances you over. Uh, you can smell the, the sour alcohol on your breath. Air the dog. And he says, no, looks like you've had enough. If anything, you could sober up a bit. Okay, well then give me some water. And food. Uh, he kind of rolls his eyes and he's like, you'll get your food when the food comes. But here, and he, he kind of comes back to where he was sitting and there's a, a pail, you know, and he kind of fills a little wooden cup. And there's a splash as he brings it in and he walks back to you and uh, kind of sets it on the door you know in the bars for you to grab and he's like here now keep quiet can i like reach out and grab him with my metal arm and like pull him into the cell uh sure go ahead arm. go ahead and make me a uh, <laughs> uh an athletics check all right uh plus button plus button plus button well, that's equal. Um, athletics. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, this is gonna be the plus eight, right? Mm -hmm. Athletics and strength. Noise. Dude, I don't be able to like break tables and all sorts of shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that'll. Let me see. There's no. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. So, <laughs> so as he's setting the, the cup down, uh, there's a a moment. Uh, where your hand just kind of latches onto him, and he's like, Whoa! Hey! And you, you jerk him into the bar, and he kind of smashes up against the bars. Uh, this this guy down here at the other end of the hallway is going to go, Hey! And he is going to start moving towards you yeah, guys. Shit. Ah, shit. Kid, I hope you're quick with your hands. Yeah, so he gets to about here. He's running down the hallway, uh, and this kid's just like, Oh, shit. Uh, so he is going to run up to the bar, and and as you're holding this guy like off the ground up against the bar, uh, you you've kind of got him pulled against the door and kind of lifted up, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so this you see this kid's kind of darting his hands between the bars, uh, patting down the guard, and he goes, "Here, here, I've got him," and he pulls him off his belt. And uh, as this guy is running up again, doo -doo 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 -doo, yep, he's not quite gonna make it. He gets to about here. Uh, and there's a, a click as the kid uh, opens the lock and pushes open the door. Uh, so you are going to have to let go of this person just to, to get, get the through door the door because you've got your arms through the bars. Yeah. Well, he yeah. can open the door. Uh, and he does. He's going to like step out and let me see. Open the door. How far can you get? He is. Yeah, he's running over here around the corner trying to get away from these guards um go ahead and roll initiative just click that button if you like initiative initiative oh how much health do you have by the way oh i probably need to roll for that real quick because the things were all wrong um hold on a second uh, so, let's see. I know I used a D8 die. And it's one D8 plus something for the first one? Um, well, you're... This is for what? Your damage? No, for the health, you said. Oh, for the health. Uh, is it a D8 for the pugilist? Let me see. I believe so. I, I actually have it pulled up here. Uh, the pugilist is, yes, a D8. So your first one, what's your con mod? Uh, two. At first level, your health is 10. 
So after that, it's a d8 or 5. So if you want to just roll them all at once, you can roll a 48 in the thing. Or oh, yeah. you can just roll your d8 four times for each of your other levels. Okay, hold on. Um, D8. Do I have. Okay. So you would just yeah, slash it. R48. Ew. Oh, you put R slash 48. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Damn. Alright, that's gonna be a six, seven, five, and eight. Math. Okay. So it says twenty five, right? So I just 18... add that to the ten? Oh yeah, I guess it just just as Oh wait. Uh but well, it doesn't it's... put in my modifiers. Well, yeah, so it doesn't put in the modifiers, and since you rolled a four on one of those, you'll take a five instead. So it's really gonna be twenty six. And then your con mod is two. For four levels, so 26 plus 8. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, 34? Uh, yes. Plus 10. 44? 44. So 44 is your health. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Boys. All right, got that. Okay. Got the fuck shit up. All right, so you've got initiative rolled up. Good, good, good. So the first thing that's gonna happen is this city guard is. Can you see that yellow highlighter around this character? Um, on the turn order or what? Yeah, on the turn order. Do you see it highlighting whose turn it is? The first city guard with twenty. Uh huh. Do you see the yellow yeah. frame around him by chance? Uh, no. Do you see me switching yellow frames here? Okay, that's fine. That just means I'm the only one that can see it. So this city guard here is going to yeah. step forward uh, and attempt to grab you and shove you back into here. So he's going to make a grappling check against you. Uh, and roll a... Let's see their modifier real quick. Uh, a 14. So go ahead and make an athletics check. Okay. And since you are a pugilist, I believe you get double proficiency to avoid being held. I feel like there was... Hold on. Yes. To, or resist either of those maneuvers. Okay, cool, yeah. So it's athletics plus another three. So you get a plus 11 when it comes to grappling or resisting grapples. Oh, I'm going to write that down real quick. Holy shit, that is a massive fucking modifier. Plus Jesus 11 to what? Uh, so because of your class, whenever you are using athletics to grapple, shove, or resist either of those, your proficiency bonus is doubled. So it's five plus three plus three instead of just five plus three. And that's to resist the... Yeah, here, I, I'll copy and paste it. Yeah. This is your groundwork squared circle ability. You said athletics check? Uh, yes, whenever, uh, like grappling, for instance, is both people make an athletics check. It's called a contested skill check. Mm -hmm. uh, so when that's happening, you get double proficiency. So it's your five strength mod plus three plus 11. I keep doing R slash. Wow, so you could roll a four right now and you would still win. That is insane. Oh my oh, god. Oh, roll a 20. Insane. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, yeah, not. Oh, bitch. <laughs> 
not only uh, do you make it, but you just kind of brush this guy aside and he kind of stumbles away. Uh, this this next city guard's gonna come in after him and attempt to do the same thing. He's just gonna run up and try and, and tackle you here. So go ahead and make another one. Oh my god. <laughs> Unless you roll like a nat one, there's no way you can even lose this. Damn it! I can't get this command. I know how to work commands, I just can't fucking do it. It's, it's uh sexy again, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Look oh, at wait, this. That, oh wait, loves... both of those times were just regular twenty plus eleven. You gotta, you gotta actually type in slash r one d twenty plus eleven. Yeah, oops. Like that. Oh, but look at that. You got another crit. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so this guy brushes aside two, knocks into this one, and they both kind of like collapse into each other, trip over each other. Um. So you are up now. Go ahead and do your thing. Man, I really wish that kid had the key. Can I ask that kid to throw me the key so I can just close the gate and lock the doors on him? Get uh, him stuck in there? Sure, you want to try and step out here? Step out of the room and then get the key from him? Yeah. Okay. So you step out. Hey, kid! Throw me the key! Okay. This kid goes, uh, okay, and he, he tosses the keys. Uh, make me a dex check to grab it real quick, just to catch it out of the air. Okay. Let's see. Just straight dexterity. Oh, uh. It's oh, Where's... actually, you know what? We're in combat right now. We need, we need to get us some combat music here. So, okay. Am I still rolling the d20, or am I just telling you my dexterity number? Uh, you are rolling a d20 plus your dexterity modifier. That's how you do an ability check. Shit, Jesus, what the- You're really close. <laughs> All right, there you go, yeah, so no problem. You snatch it out of the air, and with a score like that, in one swift movement, you click the door. Um, both of these guys immediately climb to their feet and rush over, and uh, the second guard begins to grab the keys off of his belt. Oh shit, that's right. All right, uh, go ahead and re-roll your, or you already did, you got an 18. Or no, re-roll your initiative, go ahead and click the button. Okay, yeah. nice. So you're at an 18 again. Mm-hmm. Plus, does the okay. alert count for that too? Or does it not matter? Huh? The alert bonus, or does it not matter? Yeah, the alert bonus is, is plugged into it, so you're getting a plus okay. 7. Okay, okay. That whenever you hit that button. Okay, so uh, the second guard, he grabs the keys off his belt, and he's he starts putting it in the door, and he's kind of grumbling, you bastard, and he... Uh, he's gonna open the door and step out, and he is going to pull a hand axe off his belt and take a swipe at you with it. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, you're gonna take a pretty painful 9 damage. So here, I will actually do this for you here. You have a total of 44 health. Mm -hmm. Out of 44 health. So you see that green bar right there, above your head? The green circle that now says 44? Yes. You can click it, type minus 9, and it will automatically deduct 9 from your health, and you'll see your health bar go down a little bit. There you go. Weird. Alright, so he takes a swipe at you. Um, and then this next city guard behind him is going to come out and he is going to try and make a shove attack to knock you prone. So go ahead and roll me another d20 plus 11. And you gotta beat an 18. 
Okay. So yeah, you're right. I feel like there's some move somewhere or something that helps me with this, but... Uh, it's... It's your groundwork ability that's helping you with this. Uh, you could try cross-countering if you want to cross-counter that 9 that, that that guy hit you with. And then I would just hit him back if I did successfully, if, whatever. If you reduced it all the way to 0, which mm. you absolutely would because your strength modifier is insanely high. <laughs> you would have to roll a 2 or higher on your d10. So should I just do the d20 you think, or do the groundwork? So I would say, let, let's use it as an example to use cross counter. So before this guy tackles you, we'll say this guy just swiped at you with that 9 damage, right? Mm -hmm. You go ahead and use cross counter, so that uses 2 of your 3 moxie points, right? Mm -hmm. uh, reduces their damage. Do, do, by 1d10 plus your strength so let's go ahead and do slash r 1d10 plus your strength mod which is 5 right plus yes. your pugilist level which is also 5 right yes so whenever you do a cross counter it would look like that slash r 1d10 Plus five, plus five? Mm-hmm. That's a 1d10 plus your strength modifier plus your pugilist level. Right? Yeah. Nice. Oh. So you rolled the worst you could possibly roll. Yep. And it still reduces the damage all the way to zero because he did nine damage to you. So since you reduce the damage to zero, you take no damage after all. So we can go ahead and give you that plus nine back to your health there you go Yay. uh and then as your reaction because you get a reaction every every round uh yeah. you can make an attack against them so go ahead and roll a d20 plus eight and this is you using your fisticuffs attack because all of your attacks are fisticuffs Okay, that'll definitely hit him. So go ahead and roll up your damage. Which is a D8 plus 8, I believe. Where, oh, plus 8's the strength mod. Mm hmm Okay, and then D8's the die that I use for my fist. Yes. Damn. Okay, oh, yeah. so 10 damage. Whew. All right, so... <laughs> so he goes and he like swipes at you with your axe and you just kind of like bob out of the way and then just step back in and catch him with an uppercut and you see his his toes kind of lift off the ground a little bit as you just knock his chin nice. straight up his head snaps back and he crumples to the floor uh, unconscious good Hopefully I didn't kill him and he'll just stay down. No, he's, he's just unconscious. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should loot his shit. Oh wait, wait, there's another guard there. Yeah, there's another guard there. So seeing this, this guard is gonna go shit and instead of tackling you, he is also gonna draw his hand axe and he is going to rush up to you and make a swipe at you. Damn it. Uh, he scores a 20, not a nat, but he is going to deal seven damage to you. Go ahead and do the minus seven to your health. Oh, you guys. Okay. And since he did, uh, let's see. You have to take three or more damage to get a moxie point back, right? Yeah. So you get a moxie point back now. Oh, nice. Alrighty. So he swipes at you and it, it kind of cuts into you a little bit. But it just kind of irritates you. Uh, e All right, go ahead and re-roll your initiative. Oof. Oof. Okay. So he's gonna follow that up with another attack at you. He takes a swipe. Uh, does a 12 hit you? Uh, no. No. Well, okay. my armor's 14, and I get plus two because of something I don't remember. Uh, your armor. Uh, let me see. You have something for this. You have Iron Chin. 
Oh yeah, that's the plus two, I think. And when you are wearing lights, so you're wearing light armor, which gives you... What armor are you wearing right now? I think light armor. Light armor? So you're wearing like, what, leather or studded leather or something like that? Uh, like, I guess leather armor? Okay. So we'll I'm say... not sure, honestly. I just figured we'll, it was light we'll armor. We'll say your AC's 14. And you're wearing light armor. Uh, I don't know it off the top of my head. It's not leather, but I think it's studded leather the next one up. Uh, okay, I just know that whatever my cleric had, it was like, I'm just going to steal this number about the same. Okay, no worries. Uh, we can we can figure it out later. But for now, he, he swipes at you with his hand axe, and with your uh, metal arm, you sort of just like brush the blade away barehanded. Uh, it's your turn. What do you do? Um, he just attacked me, but we also need to escape. Um, shit. I can't, like, wrestle the axe from him, can I? Um, yeah, you can try and disarm him if you want. Because maybe I can, like, disarm him, shove him, and then run away. Is that cool? You're, you're just gonna leave this guard to do whatever well, he wants? I guess I need to knock him out, but... Oh, uh, shit, let me think. No, I don't want him to do whatever he wants, but is this the guy with the key or without the key? Uh, well, the first guard that you knocked unconscious, I, I mean, I've lost track of him now. I believe the first guard that you knocked unconscious was the first one, and the you have his key because the kid had tossed it to you, mm -hmm. and then the second guard, who I think you're about to knock out, is the one who pulled his second key out of it. So each of you has a key right now. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go punch him in the face and knock him out. Alright, go for it. Okay. Um... It's the 1d20 plus what, again? Sorry. It's a d20 plus your strength mod, plus your proficiency, so I believe it's plus 8. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, that'll that'll hit. <laughs> uh, let's see, one d eight plus. I swear to God, one of these days I'm gonna get it. It's a d eight plus five. This is your strength modifier. Yes, yes. Okay. Just all these numbers for some for something. Right. So oh you... wait, do I do that twice since I get two attacks? Yep, so this one doesn't quite take him out in the first hit, but uh, you you kind of catch him with a quick jab and it knocks his face back and his hands kind of move up and you get another attack as part of your extra attack. Let's go ahead and roll it up. Uh... That one actually does not quite hit. So you kind of throw, uh, you you throw your follow-up punch, but it just kind of narrowly misses him. Uh, as a bonus action, you can still make a third attack or a grapple check or burn some moxie to uh, do some other stuff. Um, I'm gonna burn a moxie to do the one two. Okay, the one two. All right, so that'll give you two more unarmed attacks. Go ahead and roll that up. Two D8. Would it be two D8 plus five? Still, yeah. Uh, it would be a one D8, and you don't add your modifier to these later hits. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. But if it's two attack, can I just go ahead and do two D eight? Um, do them individually. Or wait, hold on. It, no, you would you would do them individually. I am making you a button to to help you out here. Uh, so three damage. Cool. 
Uh, so yeah, you just follow it up with a third attack, and that will actually do it. <coughs> Alright. So with that, he is going to go down unconscious. <laughs> and Boop. that will take you out of combat. Woohoo! Alright, so the kid kind of walks back over to you and he goes, kind of watches you and he goes, Oh my god, I can't believe you just took out two guards by yourself. Uh, you were wondering about if I could handle myself to get it. Oh, I'm not anymore. <laughs> and he, he sort of goes over and he pats down the guards. And he pulls out uh, three potions of healing and he passes them to you and he says, You will probably need this. You would think? Well, Are you sure you don't need one, kid? I am not a fighter. Yeah, I, you still get hurt, though. Hmm? So what if you still get hurt, though? Well, I'm not gonna get hurt. That's where you come in. And he kind of gives uh. you a wink. Uh, so patting down the second guard, he's like, we should probably take this from him. And he takes the second key and gives it to you. Nice. Thank you. I will just quietly put this in my arm. Uh, and then looking at the two unconscious bodies on the ground, he says, well, what should we do with them? Oh, uh, we should probably just drag them in the cell and lock them in there. They'll have fun when they wake up. Okay. They'll know what it's like to be us. Uh, so you go ahead and drag uh, the two guards into the cell, and you're going to lock them in there? Yes. All right. Right. I need to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, cool, cool. grab some coffee again real quick. Be right back again. That's <laughs> all good. Let's go ahead and get some sneaky music going. Okay, I am back. Okay, cool. So, um, so you take the keys and uh, you drag these two guys in here, kind of strip them of their weapons and so on, and lock them into the cell. Uh, take that. that. Okay, so then the kid uh, kind of takes the key, and he's like, alright, let's see what we've got here, and uh, he kind of leads you this way uh, around this corner, and he says, hmm, this should be, it leads you to this door over here, and he kind of uh, peeks through the door a little bit. Uh, you can see there's two guards standing just outside here, mm -hmm. uh, and he's kind of examining the door. You see him like feeling around the edges, peeking into the lot. Uh, he pulls a, a couple little knickknacks from a pouch, you know, uh, a, like a wire and a little pick, and he's kind of fumbling in the lock for a bit, and then he turns to you and he says, "Damn, he's uh, he's only open from the outside. We're gonna have to find another way." Uh, but that's okay. I think I know a way around. Uh, what if I could punch through the wall? 
Uh, looking at this door, it is a heavy iron door. Uh, ah. It only opens from the outside for security reasons. I see. Yeah, it doesn't look like something you'd be able to to do. The kid turning to you says, "Oh, I'm I'm Fritjof, by the way." I'm just gonna call you Yoff. Okay. Poor kid, Fritjof. I am Olivier. Follow me this way, we'll see if this is open. Alright. Uh, as you're passing these cells, you notice there are a large number of people uh, in green cloaks. Some of them appear to be prisoners, uh, but many of them appear to be young people in pretty good shape. Uh, and Fritjof, as he passes certain cells, he's kind of whispering to some of these people. Uh, kind of... Yo, what are you saying to these people? Uh, make me a perception check. Perception. Uh, perception, perception. Oh wow, my perception sucks! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't quite hear it. Uh, and so you're gonna ask them, hey, what are you saying to these people? Uh, turning to you, he says, oh, uh, some of these people are rebels. They are in here for political reasons, and they're my friends. If possible, I'd like to find a way to save them, but... Well, we do have keys. Do they not open the doors? We do have keys, but if we let them all out at once, we might make a pretty big distraction. Uh, we could do that. Or well, we if they're quiet, they out. can follow commands, yeah, as long as we don't hmm, incite a riot. He kind hmm. of thinks for a well, minute. Maybe he's... find the exit first, and then one of us can come back later, and... Uh, yeah. you, you've been in the cell for a while, so you don't really know, but uh, Fritjof, looking up at you, says, well, uh, most of the guards are asleep right now. Um... And then kind of realizing you don't know what time it is, he says, Oh, it's it's the middle of the night right now. Mm. Uh, we could start a raid, but it's going to attract a lot of attention. If you want to try doing that, we might be able to fight our way out, but we're going to be bringing the entire tower down on us. Uh, you've been in Port Hildian long enough to know that the, the, watch, the North Watch Tower, where you currently are, is a large tower that functions both as a jail for the city and as the barracks for the city guard. So you uh, have the majority of the city guard sleeping right on top of you guys. Yeah, that's not a good idea. We should probably just do Also, I think I have some thingy, since I'm a pugilist, where if I take a long rest in a city, I know where all the public buildings yeah, are. Yeah, at this point... Um, not that it matters because we're in a cell, but... Yeah, I mean, at this point, you've been in the city long enough to be a regular at the bars. You know, it's not the first time you've been thrown in jail for a drunk bar fight. For sure. You should probably skidoo, though. Yeah. Make haste! So he says, uh, I'm just kind of reassuring these people, but we'll see if maybe we can find a way to get them out later. Uh, so leading you onward, he kind of brings you over here. Uh, and you can see... This appears to be some kind of torture chamber. There's mm -hmm. like a, a gate here. Uh, and Fritjof kind of mumbling to himself says, Oh, you know, it's, it's gated so you can hear what's happening. And he kind of reaches into his uh, cloak again and produces some more uh, thieves tools and begins opening this door. He fumbles with it for a moment and it kind of opens and the door comes in. So you guys step inside. Looking around the room, it doesn't really seem to be too much here. Uh, but Fritjof, kind of glancing back and forth, starts heading over this corner and uh, rummaging around with these barrels. He says, uh, it's somewhere, somewhere around here. Uh, so you see him kind of struggling to move these barrels. They appear to be pretty heavy. Fritjof, you need help? He says, yeah, see if you can come move these for me. No problem. 
Let me uh, just uh, crack, 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 cracks her neck and walks over to the barrels. Nice. So you mosey on over. Go ahead and roll me an athletics check to move these. All right. Uh, plus five. Oh, piss. Not good. Uh, you would actually be plus eight for that one, so you would have rolled an eleven there, because it's your strength mod, but you're also proficient in athletics. Oh, that's right. So at an eleven, that's plenty. You you easily move the barrel over, and uh, it reveals what looks like a small dugout hole, uh, barely big enough for a child to fit inside. But, oh no. But uh, you are. Uh, despite being very, very strong, uh, still cut a pretty slender figure, and it looks like you can just barely manage to fit inside. So you follow Fritjof and crawl into what appears to be a very narrow crawl space that somebody kind of crudely dug out. It's a little claustrophobic, but you guys make your way through this tunnel, kind of digging your way through here. Uh, and when it gets to the, when you get to this area, Fritjof kind of, kind of, whoa. he is going to kind of step forward and then come back and say, oh, there's some stuff in the way. You're going to have to go first and clear it out. I, I hear you. All right. Uh, you assumably move forward and go move this stuff out of the way. And what you find on the other side is what appears to be a storage room. Hmm. It says, oh, these used to be old cells, but uh, it kind of all degraded away. So what we are left with now is just a storage room. I wonder use these if they've anymore. got fear in here. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome to dig around, see what you can find. Maybe can I quietly rummage? Like, I don't want to check everything, but like the nearest crates like the first few yeah crates. sure you you kind of you come over to one of these crates and it's got like a, a loose plank on it and then just like digging in your metal fingers you you pry one of them off uh and what you find inside are just like some grains flour dry goods you crack open another one there's like apples uh looks like just stuff to keep the prisoners alive just mm. shipments of supplies. Can I just take an apple and keep going? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Like, I haven't right. eaten anything all day. Go ahead and add an apple to your inventory. <laughs> all right. And so kind of uh, peeking up ahead, you guys can see the light coming from this, this room. Uh, and there's some candlelight kind of gently coming through... Uh, the bars of this door here so you can see there's a candle on in this room so freight y'all kind of stepping forward uh, creeps forward just a little bit and he starts to see that there's a a guard over here and so putting his back to that wall he's gonna sneak up here and then spot this guy up here and this guy down here so coming back to you he says it looks like there's some trouble ahead what do you think we should do? How many people do you see? Well, I spotted three of them. But there might be more, you never know. Hmm. Well, if we can go into stealth and not alert the other guards, I might be able to sneak behind them and, uh, snap their necks or put them in a chokehold and make them go to sleep or something? Yeah, maybe. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know, dude. You're the one that knows this place. Pretty old. Uh, there's a one. There's one in a room up ahead on our right, and it looks like he's taking a nap right now. Uh, Probably not worry about him unless we. Yeah, as long as we're long. as long as we're quiet, I think it'll be okay. Cause I think, if possible, yeah, I could enter stealth and then ambush the guard around the corner and just like knock him out or snap his neck and then drag him down into the, the the storage units okay um go ahead and then and is the other stealth. one facing us uh yeah so this guy oh, is shit. facing this way looking out here 
Oh no. Just kind of standing guard, and this one is looking up this way. So the one up by the stairs might spot us, though. Maybe. Um, but you could probably get to him if you sprinted around this corner. Now, granted, you don't have to deal with them head on. If you can think of a way to lure them or move them or manipulate them in any kind of way, those are well, those we, options are available to you. Maybe we could chuck or throw a rock somewhere like in the corner to get their attention, divert their attention. Uh, sure. Is that something you want to try? Well, see, I don't know what would be better, to try to distract him and run around him or if I should just knock out one. I'm just afraid that if the other guard sees me, you know, pulling this body behind, he's going to be like, hey, what's happening? Or I might... Uh. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a sticky situation. Uh, you'll have to think of a clever way to deal with it, unless you just want to charge into a fight and... Nah. And, and aggro all these people. Can we lock this, this door into the room from the outside? Can you lock it? Yeah, to make sure that the other guard doesn't come out and get us from behind uh you might be able to but he is still asleep in there oh my god okay i figured okay so can we like go into this room all stealth like and then again just fuck up the sleeping guard real quick and then tie him up and then maybe fritjolf can steal his armor and put it on and pretend to be a guard escorting me as a prisoner somewhere that is a pretty good idea. You could certainly give it a shot and try your luck. Let's try that, because that seems like the least hurtful way. Okay. Uh, and then so if it doesn't work, I can just kick their ass. So. Okay, go ahead and roll me a stealth check then. Um. Stealth plus two. Take a look at that still. Do, 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 do. Okay, 14, not too shabby. So the two of you enter stealth and y'all start sneaking up this way. Uh, as you're coming for y'all kind of like gestures with his hand and kind of urges you against the wall and y'all sneak up and uh, he very silently opens the door and peeks inside. And he kind of looks back around the corner and gives you the all clear and very silently steps inside. Okay, you do the same in turn following him. Uh, you look over and you see a guard asleep on the bed. There is a mug of beer on the table. It looks like maybe he was drinking before he took a nap. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go grab this beer and finish it off real quick. Okay. Pridol just kind of watches you and surprises you, sneak over to the table, pick up his half-finished mug and drain it quickly. I might hold on to the mug though, just so I can smash the guard in the head if he wakes up. Okay. Um, so this guard is asleep, pretty much completely at your mercy. Pridol kind of comes over and examines him, and he kind of points at the key on his belt. back to the door. So that'll lock the door? Mm -hmm. And kind of nods. <laughs> whisper, whisper. Shit. Well, fuck. I still think it'd be best to subdue this guy, even though he's asleep. But then he might make noise. But then we can lure the other guard in here, and then knock him out, and then lock them all in here again. I mean, this guy's asleep. And you are trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You could probably put him down. Uh, I mean, could I just like grab him by the throat? Mercy. <laughs> yeah. Could I just like squeeze his throat or like snap his neck or something? Um. Or. You know. You know. Uh, just as a trained. Um. 
fighter that you could probably just take this guy out with him at a complete disadvantage like this. So just punch him, are you saying? Mm, that's up to you. You can do whatever you like, but you know you could probably just take this guy down. Hmm. Uh, it would be a struggle if you tried to choke him unconscious. He would wake up in the time that you're choking him. Well, what if I just, like, punched him in the, the windpipe with my iron fist? Because that would probably break his windpipe. Yeah? You want to give it a shot? Oh, God. I've added a fisticuffs button next to your initiative, so to make it easy now, you can just click the button. I feel like I shouldn't murder him in a way, because that kind of goes against You don't both. automatically have to kill these people. Um... I'll say since it's within your capability, you can just knock people out. Like if you do enough damage to kill somebody and they're unconscious, uh, you you do enough damage to knock them out first. Okay, so should I just knock him out even though he's already asleep, or should we just try to? Because I can't strip him of his gear if he's sleeping. He's gonna I, wake up. I can't tell you to do anything. I can tell you what your options are, and that's I mean you can knock him out, you can try choking him, you can do whatever you can come up with. I feel like if I hit him in the head with that cup, he's gonna wake up somehow. Let's see. Hey, Fritjof. He's like, huh, what is it? Do you have any rope or anything that we can tie this guy up with? Uh, he's kind of searching his person. He doesn't really have anything. He's got his belt. But then he kind of looks over and he kind of points at the guy's... You see, he's wearing a belt. And he kind of shrugs. He's like, Oh man, okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to take this guy out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Fredolf just like shakes his head and shrugs and <laughs> puts his hands up like I, I, I'm just a kid, like I don't I don't know. This is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go at least over by the bed and look at the guard and like study him for a second in contemplation. Uh he's a uh... A young man, you know, late twenties, very peacefully sleeping. Doesn't look like he's got a care in the world, really, you know, just having a nap. He certainly doesn't suspect that there are two prisoners right beside him. Is he sleeping with his armor on? Um, it's a light leather armor. I would say yes, he is sleeping with his armor on. There's not much to it. Hmm. I wonder if we could, like, wake him up and scare him into helping us escape. Probably not a good idea. You could try. Okay, if he has a key or something, how about we just... Deal his key, and then lock him in. Okay, you wanna do that? Yeah, or if Frit Yolf is better at it, have him steal a key. Okay, so Frit y'all is gonna make a light of hand check and ace it. So he very silently like reaches over and just kind of lifts the key off the belt and just kind of floats it over and wraps it in, his, in the cloth of his cloak to muffle any noise and gives you a nod. Alright, we should probably sneak back out and then lock him in here. That's one less to deal with. Okay. So y'all just leave the room? Okay. You guys are just gonna leave the room and that's that? Well, lock the door behind us, and then maybe... Again, I don't know if it'd be better to, like, whistle to get the guard to come down here to get out of sight of the other guard and then ambush him, or if we should just ambush him in the open. We should probably get him down the hallway a little bit. Okay, so y'all step outside the room. Oh, wait. And he... Maybe we shouldn't lock the door yet. Maybe yeah. I should hurt this guy first, put him in there, and then lock the door. That's an option, too. Okay, yeah, let's lure the guard around the corner down here, and then I can knock him out, and then we'll throw him in the other room with the other guy. Uh, so you want to lure him into this room here yes okay so uh taking your cue y'all sneak 
back into this room here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so what did you want to do inside this room? Well, the guard that's around the corner. Mm -hmm. If we can like whistle or like make just enough noise to like pike his interest for him to come investigate it. That way when he comes and investigates, I can either like headbutt him or grab him or knock him out or something. Okay, so what are you trying to do right now? Um, the guard that's, uh, the corner of the hallway, I was trying to lure him towards this room so that I could knock him out and then right. lock him in right, the room right. that- Right, So what are you doing right now? What are you going right to do? Right now. Mm, maybe throw something at the guy, like a pebble or whistle or something. Okay. Something to make me like what? Like a so, so you kind of got the door open right now. I guess. Or right. should I be on the other side of the door? Uh, you can just crack the door if you want. Okay. Then you're gonna give a little whistle. Yeah, or maybe like a. Psst. Psst. Uh, what, what are you? What are you gonna do? Well, whatever's loud enough to get his attention. You could do a I loud. Guess. Loud stir a whistle, whichever you prefer. Shit, but there's a sleeping dude too. Whistle. Yeah, we'll do whistle. Okay, so. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I should talk straight so the, the, door is, the door is cracked open, and you're kind of peering through at this guard, and you give a little like. <whistles> and, uh, Frit y'all. Instantly, you see his eyebrows jump up and the panic on his face as he glances over at the sleeping guard down here who's going to make a perception check. <laughs> and uh, this guy over here is going to go like, huh? And he's uh, he's going to like take a step this way to like come investigate. This guy, meanwhile, is going to wake up. Oh, damn it. Should have killed him. And, uh, sitting upright in the bed, you hear him go, Hey! Hey, someone's in here! <laughs> and, uh, go ahead and roll me initiative. Uh, that, him saying that, by the way, is going to get this guard's attention even more. What are you gonna do? Um, how close is that guard on the outside to the door? Uh, the guard on the outside of the door? He is right outside the door, within five feet. Within five feet? Within five feet of the door, so he's ten feet of you. So, like, if I violently kick the door open, would it be enough to hit him and, like, either knock him back or do something or should I like try to grab him and open the door at the same uh, time? He's not quite close enough to the door that the door would hit him but you could probably reach him if you were standing in the doorway yourself. Okay, well let's see. Shit. Actually, no. You know what? If you want to kick the door open we'll say he's close enough that the door will hit him. It's a big door. I think I'm going to do that just to stun him. Okay. And then maybe if he's on the floor, then I'll do the one, two to, or do the bonus action to grapple or something. Okay. I'm looking at your fisticuffs right now, and it says improvised weapons count as pugilist weapons. So this door will deal 1d8 plus your damage. Go Should ahead. I roll that thing? Yeah, go ahead and just roll that. The door's, the door's going to hit him because he's standing right outside the door. He's like rushing up to it. It's 1d8 plus what again? Plus your strength mod, which I believe is 5. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Oof. So, it, oof, just 6 damage to him. And he is less than pleased now. Uh, so he's, he's going to say, hey, and like kind of start to struggle, uh, which is going to get this guy's attention here. 
scoop, but he's still a good ways away. He doesn't completely know what's going on. This guy is going to attempt to uh, kind of come through the door and uh, make a shove attack to tackle you and knock you prone. <laughs> and he rolls an 11. So see if you roll a nat 1 because you automatically get a plus 11 to this. And roll in the d20, right? Uh huh. Just roll a d20 because in this case you get plus 11. So you're really only rolling to see if you get a nat 1 or a nat 20. Six. Six. All right, that will do it. Um, so he tries to tackle you and you just like, you know, you're, you're still standing. Uh, completely fails. The, the second city guard is going to uh, stand up, which I believe costs half his movement. But it's a small room, so he's going to cross over to you. And he is also going to try and tackle you. God, these guys. So now he's going to make an athletics check at advantage because both of them are trying to pin you down. Oh, Jesus. And see if you can beat a 10. So, 1 or 20. Again. Oh, Jesus. 4. 4? Alright, that's enough. So you get plus 11 of these. Mm -hmm. uh, so this guy is going to just kind of gradually start walking over this way. He doesn't really know what's happening. Uh, these two guys both just attempted to tackle you. And as Freedyoff watches, there's two grown men trying <laughs> to tackle this girl. <laughs> uh, but your feet are, like, solid. And they both just kind of, like... <laughs> hit your waist and just kind of like fall um you are up or actually go ahead and re-roll your initiative if you haven't done so already i moved you just for a second to re-roll these guys uh, initiative Ooh, 13 plus 8 uh it's not letting me uh the button oh, i think so yeah you gotta click your character first oh, i did but Yeah, it's not doing anything. Hitting the button doesn't do anything? Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. I guess it just took a second. Oops. Okay, no worries. Er, er, I did it for you just now. I still don't see uh, that you've done it anywhere. But you should be able to just click it and hit that button. Do you see the button? Yeah. All right, well, it's maybe... telling me that my server's been interrupted or something. Oh, okay. You're just lagging a little bit is all. We'll go with yours. Okay. 21, 21, 24. Uh, 21, 24, is that what you got? Is that what you got on your initiative? 21, 24, something like that? Wow, yeah, much better. All right, so you are up first. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, there's all the times you were hitting that button. <laughs> we'll just take the last one, 24. So what do you want to do? You're up first. Oh, Everything oh. alright? I think I can hear you now, yeah. Okay. Alright, so you're the first one up. What would you like to do? Um, can I grapple both the dudes? Is that possible? Or can I push one and grapple the other? Because I feel, I think I read that. Spin, one mock, two, one. So, you can use your action to do a grapple to somebody. And then, mm -hmm. since you're, because of your class, you can then burn a, a moxie point if you want to use your to the mat ability. Okay. So, if you want to grapple them both, that is something you can do. Yeah, because I read somewhere I thought that I can essentially grapple two people because I have two hands. Yes, but... that is correct. So, uh, let's say I grappled one and used my bonus action with the moxie to grapple the other person. Yes, because um, as an it's... action you can make a grapple, but then as a pugilist, your groundwork ability lets you burn a moxie to make a grapple and then a shove attack if you like. 
Okay. Um, with that shove attack, would I be able to shove him into the other guard, or would I be able to like just shove him to the floor, or? Uh, you'd be able to shove him to the floor if you like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's. I mean, do that. you can I'll... shove them into the other guard if you like, but that will break both of your grapples because it will push ah. both of them away from you. But can I like shove them on the wall? Would that make him fall yeah, into a sure. Once you have them grappled, uh, the next turn, if you like, you can use uh, you can use your action to attack them. That would basically be an improvised weapon. Okay, so do I still only have 37 health then? This is a continuation from the last battle? Yes, you still have 37 health. Okay, that means I only have one moxie left, so I'm gonna use that to do the, uh, to the mat or whatever that thing is. Okay, so roll athletics, uh, for your first one. And you're grappling, so that's gonna be a plus 11, so a d20 plus 11 for your first grapple. Okay. Hold on. You have to be the 16. Sorry. All good. 1d 20 plus 11. First one. Okay, 22. No problem. So you snag that guy up. Uh, and then you're going to use a bonus action and burn a moxie to make mm -hmm. a second grapple attempt. Go ahead and try that. And that's just the regular one with no... Uh... It's gonna be like the regular plus five or nothing? No, it's still gonna be the plus 11 because oh, this is a grapple attempt. And you are good at grapples. Oh, nice, okay. Let's see what this guy gets. The three, yeah, okay, so. So you. <laughs> so Freddy <laughs> Off watches as these two full grown men attempt to tackle you. You completely stand your place and then just grab each of them with one hand apiece. Nice. Uh, dude, dude. All right. I mean, if he wants to stab him while I'm holding him, that's totally cool too. He's, he is not wanting to do anything. He wants to be out of this situation. <laughs> well, obviously, but uh, they are each gonna try and break your grapple. Go ahead and, and just roll a couple of athletics checks. It's it's still the plus 11 because it's grapple related. Uh, just to see if they can get away. It looks like they are not going to be able to do it. It's the d20, right? Plus 11? d20 plus 11, yeah. Anything uh -oh, regarding that? grapples gets the plus 11. Yay! Fools. Foolish fools! Yeah, uh, first guy's stuck for sure. Actually, here, I'll make you a grapple button, too. Oh. And what is the fisticuffs button do again? That's just my attacking shit? It's, it's a single punch, yeah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have the plus five factored in so that you can press the button as many times as you want. Yeah, both these guys are definitely still caught. Um, go ahead and re-roll your initiative. Ugh. And don't um, worry, these guys did terribly. Alright, so you grab. are up first again. You now have them both in your hands. You have your movement, your actions. What would you like to do? Um, I am going to... Try to slam one of their heads into the wall. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a fisticuffs attack because that counts as an improvised weapon. That's okay, so that's three plus five, so you actually mm -hmm. are dealing eight damage. Uh, that's actually all it's gonna take. Which one? Or which one are you going for? Uh, whatever is in my right hand with the metal arm. Right hand with the metal arm. So that would be this guy, actually. So yeah, this guy. As his head bashes against the wall, there's kind of a nasty crack, and he goes unconscious. Oh, with that, this guy's gonna wander just a little bit closer. Alright, and you have, 
another attack if you like as part of your extra attack. Guess I'll just smash the other guy's head in too. All right, do it. Oof. So a nat Plus. one, and that'll just deal the flat one damage. Boo. All right, but you, as a bonus, uh, you can either make one attack or you can burn a moxie if you have any left to deal two more. Uh, I do not have any more moxie. Okay, so you can make one free attack still if you like. Okay. And that will deal a total of seven damage. So this guy is bashed a little bit senseless, but he is still hanging in there. Uh, so the fisticuffs has the button has the plus whatever already added to it? Uh-huh. In fact, if... Yes. Or no, it, the fisticuffs button does not have the plus added to it. Because only oh, your first you attack gets first it. One. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. If Sorry. I added the plus to it, you would have to subtract five from all subsequent attacks instead of just adding five to the very first one. Oh, I see. That does make it simpler, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, if you want to change that flavor, it says uh, Olivier delivers the mighty punch, or Olivier delivers the mighty punch. Uh, you can change that text to whatever you like. I'll show you how to do that later. Okay. So this guard is less than pleased. He is going to take a hand axe and try and swipe at you. Uh, does an 11 hit? Uh, no. Alright, so he kind of swipes at you, but you manage to like catch it with your your mechanical hand and brush his blow aside. Uh, go ahead and reroll initiative. And this guy rounds the corner over here. He's going to hear the struggles within, and he is also going to roll initiative. And you can hear you can hear footsteps as he starts to run up to the door just outside the door there. Uh, you're up first. What would you like to do? Well, if I could time it perfectly, it'd be awesome to throw the one guard into the other guard as he opens the door. Uh, you can ready an action if you like to do that. Wait, are... Both of the guards in my room passed out? Or uh, one still the first right. one that you smacked his head against the wall, he is knocked unconscious. Uh, you have the other one who has been knocked mostly senseless, but is still conscious. You hear a guard approaching just outside the door, and as you turn to look to the door, you know he's going to step in any moment now. If you like, you can do what's called readying an action, which uses your reaction to do something. Okay, I kind of just want to get ready, so the moment this dude opens the door, I can just, like, fucking hail, you know. Just I had the things I would say haymaker, but I don't have that, but, uh, just, yeah, yeah I want to- have haymakers. I know, but I don't have any moxie right now. I don't think you need moxie to use a haymaker. You just do, let me see, haymaker, attack roll, and arm sure, 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 sure. It does not already have disadvantage, you can declare your haymakers. All attack rolls until the end with disadvantage, but you deal max damage instead. Yeah, you don't need Moxie for that. It just puts you at disadvantage when you make your punches. Okay, well, you know what, let's just try that. I want to ready a Haymaker so when he opens the door I can just wail on him. Okay, so you're going to ready a Haymaker. Is there anything you want to do with a bonus action? Since you didn't make an attack action... Like, if in the case the haymaker fails type of thing, or what? Uh, or like... What do you mean in case the haymaker fails? Well, like, if I miss, would the bonus action be applicable after that, or like... Uh, in, no. In uh, it, the, your ready to action will occur during the other person's turn when they do the thing that triggers it. In this case, it will occur on his turn when he steps into the doorway. That's when your action goes off and you throw him. Okay, so bonus action. Can I just like kick the other card in the guard in the face or something? Or? Um, I'm looking at your bonus actions here. It'll probably really help you. Uh, I'll try and make a macro for you after this game. That'll so that'll show you what all your bonus actions do because your class has a shitload of things they do with a bonus action. Can I use like the ruthless ambusher for that bonus action? Uh, this is not the surprise round. So you use the Ruthless Ambusher when you're surprising someone or, or catching them uh, at the start of combat, but not mid-combat. 
Okay. Uh, in this case, do you have any moxie left? Not at the moment, not until I get attacked. If you don't have any moxie left, I don't think there's anything you can do with your bonus action. Alright. Uh, because most of your stuff requires that you attack first, or burn moxie to use a bonus action. So you're gonna hang tight, um, but you're gonna prepare an action. This guy is going to step through the door, which triggers your, uh, you throwing this guy. So go ahead and roll a fisticuffs. Uh, 18 will definitely hit, and that will deal 7 plus 5, so 12. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that'll deal 12 damage to both of them. Uh, so as as Freyoff is watching, as you, you've got both these guys in your hands, the first one you bash his head against the door, and the second one you kind of daze him by smacking him into the wall there, and as the second uh, or the third guy comes through the door, you just hurl him over your shoulder. Uh, these guys are both going to fly back against this wall. Uh, and this guy just flies head first into the other guy's head. They are going to bash heads midway. <laughs> Excellent. And they both are knocked unconscious because that was a really strong attack. <laughs> Took a lot of build up, but that was really Okay, so these two guys are now unconscious, and you are out of combat again. Woohoo! Woo I feel like we should take a short rest. Wait, do I get Moxie back on short rest? Uh, yes, you get Moxie back on short rest and when you take attacks. Okay, hey, Fritjof. Hmm. So I know we need to get out of here. Uh. Thinking I might need to take just a short rest real quick. It's kind of hard to uh, throw grown men around. Uh, Are you opposed to this idea? You, you see him kind of shifting around. And he's like, "You want to, you want to rest here? I guess we could. Um, well, bring him inside and lock the door and see if we have any luck with that." Okay. Just enough to get like at least one moxie point back or something. Hmm. Wait, how long are short rests? Short rests are 30 minutes. Hmm, yeah, maybe that's no good. Okay, well, fuck that. Let's just drag the bodies in here and keep going. Okay, uh, so y'all drag the bodies inside the room. Fritjof has the foresight to remove the keys from their persons. Um, also, the grapple button isn't showing yet. It's not showing for you? Let me no. See. Just press the grapple button. Do you see that? Where it says you rolled a nat 20 on a grapple? Yes. That was me clicking the grapple button. Okay. So it's right there between your fisticuffs and initiative button on my screen. Uh, but on mine, I just have fisticuffs and initiative. Uh, try refreshing the page. I wonder if it just doesn't update you. It should, but you may be experiencing some lag or something that's causing you to not. Yeah. Hold on. Reloading now. No, go away. While you do that, I'm going to try and make you a button that will help you out tremendously. Right, so it's still blank. Um, do, do, do. If the grapple button still isn't working for you, you can just not worry about it for the time being and just roll your d20 plus 11. Or I can just hit it for you if you prefer. Either one's fine, really. And it's just a normal chat, right? Okay, what the shit? It's not showing a map or anything. Unless I'm just, like, lost. It's not, uh, here. Oh, there it goes a little. That should Wait. move you to your character. Okay, back. Except, where did the buttons go? Okay, let's see if I do... Yep, grapple's there now. Okay, excellent. Uh, that button will have to wait then. Okay. So, you guys are skipping the short rest for the time being? Yeah. Alright, so you guys lock these guys in here. How do you want to proceed from here? 
Um, I would rather Fritjolf go first and scout the area and find the path since he knows this layout better than me. Okay. So you tell him this. And he is going to... There we go. He's going to step outside and sneak around the room here. Kind of glancing about as he does. All right, so he finds two more groups of people, these guys up here, and these guys down at the end of this hallway. And then he's gonna come back here, and he's gonna tell you there's, there's two up this way, and he kind of points to that direction, and then there's two at the end of that hallway over there. And he sort of indicates that you come a little closer. And uh, then as you approach, he, he points to this metal door over here. And he says, that's the door to the docks. That's, Is that the way we get out? Yeah, that's, that's how I got out last time. What makes you think that they haven't learned and put more people down there? Well, we can see what happens. I suppose. Uh, but I, I can't get up to that door without those guards seeing me down there. Hmm. Well, should we try to sneak? You said they'll see us. Um, they have. They can pretty much look right up to that door there. Well, maybe but we should throw rubble the other direction and then make a break for it. This way? Yeah. Uh, Fritjof kind of points towards this corner, and he says, we might be able to get the jump on him if we can bait him around this corner here. Well, Fritjof, easy for you to say. Well, what are you going to do? Help you, I guess. Okay. I mean, I can take care of the guards if you just, uh help with the distractions and the navigation and such. He says, I can Think do that. Use your muscle. I can do that. Follow me. Alright. Uh, so the two of you guys in our stealth, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Stealth is dex, right? Mm-hmm. So the two of you guys enter stealth, and y'all come up to these doors here, and, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, this staircase here, and Fridjolf kind of comes up and he puts his back against it and he kind of motions for you to do the same. So the two of you guys put your backs to the door and start moving uh, kind of upwards to this corner here. And then he kind of peeks around and he sees the two guards standing there and he kind of motions for y'all to switch places. So you move up, and you can kind of see these two guys up here, but they don't quite notice you yet, because you're still hiding around that corner. And then Fred Yall says, okay, I'm going to distract him. Are you ready? Aye. All right, and then he picks up uh, a little stone from the tile, and he chucks it against this metal door. And when the stone hits it, it boom, clangs loudly. And... Uh, definitely loud enough for anybody in this room to hear and then he's gonna toss two more and, ping, ping, kinda, and the door kind of echoes loudly around the room uh, when he does so these two guards kind of look at each other and they're like what the hell like uh, do we have a shipment scheduled today and the other guards like no I, I don't think so and uh, the two of them kind of start to head this way over to investigate it um and you're just kind of waiting around the corner, yeah? Yep. All right, so as these two come around the corner here, uh, you are waiting there. This would be the surprise round, because neither of them were expecting you, and you are out of combat. Yeah. So Fritjolf, as they're coming, he's like, all right, get ready. This is where you come in. And surprise round is go. What would you like to do? Okay, so I don't quite know what Ruthless Ambusher does, except the one bonus action in a surprise round. You 
get one bonus action in a surprise round. The people you damage during the surprise round roll their first initiative at disadvantage. And if you kill someone during the surprise round, your next attack gets a plus two to hit. All right, let's do that. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay, it just sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So, are you out of moxie right now? Oh yeah, does that take a moxie? No, it doesn't take a moxie. It's just, it just means you can't use your extra bonus action. Uh, actually no, you can if you take the attack action. Haha, <laughs> how about that? So instead of four, you'll get two attacks. So you step forward and what are you doing? You attacking one of them there? Let's think. Oh shit, I can't. Oh man. I was gonna say, it'd be probably better to, like, leg sweep one of them and then attack the other, but I don't know if that would... I'm a unarmed... Uh, yeah. Maybe I could go for the gold and just you, punch him. You could say that you do your bonus action, because since you will be doing an attack in one of those games, you could say you use a bonus action to make a shove attack to knock him prone, and that'll be your leg sweep. And okay. then, uh, after that, you'll use your action to make an attack. Try that. Yeah. Yeah, let's see that. Okay. Um, so you are gonna do a leg sweep, go ahead and roll your athletics, plus eleven. Or I can hit the grapple button if you like. Ooh, I can hit the grapple button. Grapple. Nice. Okay. Me... Yeah. So this guy here who's walking in front drops like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> and is now lying on his side, taken completely unawares. And in one movement, you're as you're kind of spinning your way back up after the leg sweep, you're going to move in on this other guy. Yes. All right, go ahead and roll me fisticuffs. This, uh, your attacks are going to be at advantage because they are surprised. Because ambushing people is... Right. Uh, attack. First attack, 16 damage, 5. Okay, go ahead and roll it twice because you're at advantage. And the second time was first attack, 27 with damage of 4. Okay, so that one will definitely hit. Um, go ahead and take the damage of the higher one. So 4 plus 5, uh, which is your uh, damage modifier. So that will just instantly knock this guy out. Nice. So you sweep one, and then follow up with just a brutal metal jab to the other guy's face, and he just drops. He's down. Uh, you still have an additional bonus action, because it's the surprise round, and since you made an attack, uh, you actually get two more attacks, one from your extra attack, and one from your extra bonus action. So do you want to just finish this guy here? Yeah. Should I just curb stomp him? Yeah. All right, let's That'll curb probably stomp. kill him. You want to do that? Whoa! Well, you, you want to stomp his head? <laughs> I mean, that'll probably kill him. Are most of these guards alive or dead? Have I just incapacitated yeah, them? These are all people. You've uh, you've incapacitated all of them so far because you specifically said that you did not want to kill them. Well, because if I'm trying to make a true neutral, like, self-defense, it's okay to kill, but, like, they're not supposed to be murderers, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it all depends Unless on how you like... see your own actions. So, yeah, if you're not trying to kill these people, you can certainly knock them out. I mean, they're just doing their job, you know? I don't fucking know their life, but I know they're trying to stop me, so... True, true. So, okay, how about a swift kick to the head? Off his jaw and see if that knocks them out. How about just like a, yeah, a swift kick to the temple or something? Swift kick. All right, go ahead and roll your fisticuffs at advantage because he is prone and also because he's surprised. So the advantage be plus the five? The advantage is just two rolls, take the higher of the two. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so 14 and that deals a le or six damage. Okay, so yeah, that would just deal six damage, which is exactly how much this guy has left. Whoa! So, so this guy is also per knock, uh, 
unconscious. And so again, for y'all, it's just kind of like, holy shit, like, because uh, a round is six seconds, so in a flurry, you just dropped these two guys uh, with your one round takedowns. Shit, so it was like sweep, kick, punch, kick the other guy. Yeah, sweep, kick, punch, and then you turn and finish the other guy, yeah. That's your character. Nice. Really, I'm really good at combat. So I'm uh, feeling very excited about this. <laughs> yeah, Fred Yoss, like, holy shit. Uh, so he comes over, kind of checks him real quick and gives you a nod. Then he picks up any keys that they have and uh, comes over and checks this door. But he's messing with it and he's like, ah, these keys aren't going to work. And he tries picking it with his thieves tools, but you can see him growing increasingly frustrated. It's like, damn. Can I inspect the lock, or the, the door, and see what it's made out of? Yeah, go right ahead. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. See, you come up and inspect the door. Uh, it looks to be made of some sort of iron construction. It's a very sturdy door. Um, Britt Yolf says, you know, last time I came through here, it wasn't locked like this, so maybe that's what they changed. And he's having some difficulty looking at it. You think, you know, maybe if you had your tinkerer's tools, maybe there's something you could come up with to finagle with it somehow. But uh, all of that got confiscated when you came in. So you're going to need to find the confiscation room to get your stuff back before you get out of here. Oh, damn it. All right. Hmm. Going back to these bodies, Fridjof says, well... We probably shouldn't leave them like this. Uh, I took the keys off their person, so why don't we just lock them up with the others? All right, sounds good. We're solving yard. He's still a kid, but it shouldn't be any problem for you. You come up and you grab these two people. Uh, you just drag them each by an ankle or something. Ooh, that was the whole map. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just grab each of them like by an ankle or something, and you drag them off to this room and just kind of toss them onto the pile of slumped unconscious guards <laughs> gradually accumulated in that room. <laughs> They're gonna be so confused when they wake up. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck? Uh, okay, and then you lock the door again, so all those guards are kind of still locked in there. What is... I... Mm -mm. The two of you guys are now free in this room. You're back out of combat again. Uh, Frigolf's gonna kind of peek around this corner, see if it's all clear, and move ahead. Just to scout out this area for you. And then coming back, he says, "There's nothing but prisoners this way." Right. So I guess we're going the other direction. All right. So you guys head off over to this corner, and uh, peeking around this corner, you can see there's a. This away. Um, I want you to learn how to use your moxie for so for the sake of this, we'll we'll say for now that you uh, you're back to full. And I may just periodically refill your moxie because I want you to learn what you can do with your bonus actions. Okay. All right. So you've got two more guards down there. Uh, they're just kind of standing guard outside that iron door. Um, let's see. What should we do? Let's all see. Mm, well, we're gonna have to do something. Mm. I was thinking also, it's like, fuck, I haven't even tried to, like, intimidate them or anything. Yeah, you haven't. These are city guards. Okay, so my intimidation is plus two, but I have proficiency in it, so would that add anything? I would add your three to it, so you would have a plus. 
plus five intimidation. Okay, well. It would be plus five. Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I just feel like I'm just supposed to attack people, so I think I'm just gonna, like, casually stroll down the thing to let them come at me, because there's no way I'll be able to get the sneak on them. <laughs> Alright. Um, we'll see if they attack me or if so, they try to attack me. So you're me. just gonna walk down this hallway head on? see what happens yep all right um so you you come if around they try to attack me i might try to intimidate them but if they attack me then i'm just gonna obliterate them so so you start coming down this hallway and you're kind of in the the raggedy prisoner's clothing still all your stuff having been confiscated mm -hmm. uh or not prisoner's clothing not. rather but just just your bare clothing right and uh these two guards both uh draw their hand axes and they say stop uh who are you what are you doing down here uh my name is lieutenant approach. olivier rousseau and i've just been freed under false charges of whatever and i am leaving this place please escort me to the chamber so i can get all my shit back freed on whose authority uh, on your commander's authority! Uh, roll me an intimidation check as you sort of yell this back at these two guys. Fools, question, lieutenant, what is your rank? One D twenty plus intimidation. That's so five. Damn. Oh, no. <laughs> I know that's <laughs> And they're like one plus five. Oh, sad. How'd I roll? They're like, our commander, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Uh, why don't you come with us? And they, they kind of start to move in on you here. Oh, damn it. Um, are you gonna let them kind of like each take you by the arm? Oh, hell no. I'm gonna grab all their asses. <laughs> okay. So, as they're coming up to you, you. Um, hmm. Yeah, they, they kind of know you there, so I wouldn't be surprised. No. So as they're approaching, let's all roll initiative. Okay. Uh, there is no way for it to be a surprise, unless I'm luring them again, but I figure I might as well just get it over with. Yeah, luring people to you will probably the, be the best way for you to get uh, surprised when you're solo. It's just like mm -hmm. hiding around a corner and jumping them. That's what your character specializes in. Yes. All right, you are definitely the first one to go, so go ahead and do your thing. All right. Uh, so... I can... Attack while... So I can't grapple twice in a row, can I? So I know I can use a bonus action as a grapple. Uh, you can use an action to grapple, and you can burn a moxie to use a bonus action to grapple. If you attack sometime during your turn, you can use a bonus action to grapple. And that won't use the moxie? And that won't use the moxie, but it requires you to take the attack action. Okay, so then would I theoretically be able to, like... You know, left hook one of the guards and then grab the other guy with my hand. Bonus action to grapple him. Yep, that is exactly what you can do. Okay, uh, you let's... also get an additional attack because you took the attack action. Okay, well, then once I have this guy grappled, I'm just going to punch him in the face again. Okay, so go ahead and make an attack against the first guy. You know, fisticuffs? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. So you punch one of these guys pretty solidly in the face. Uh, he's not going to appreciate that very much. And then you grapple the other one. So, grapple button? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you grappled the shit out of that guy. Um, in fact,
contact, you reach out your metal arm and your uh, metallic hands clamps around this guy's uh, whole head. Um, okay. Like Forrest joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just full on like DBZ style, just like grab someone around their head. Uh, what else are you going to be doing? Um, well, I have that bonus attack you said? Uh, you used your bonus action as a grapple. You have the extra attack still that you could use. Oh, yeah, yeah, the old one too? Uh, no, you, in addition to old one too. Oh, I have two attacks. Yes, whenever you take the attack as your regular attack, you get a free attack. If you attack as a bonus action, uh, oh man, see, this is why I need to make you a button where you can see everything. This is so convoluted. Do you have your sheet pulled up? Uh, kinda. I'm starting to get it a little bit, but... So there's a there's a ton of stuff your character can do with a bonus action, but the way your fisticuffs works is when you use your main action to attack, uh, you get a free action, as that's your extra attack. And then because of your fisticuffs, if you use your main action to attack, then you also get to either use a grapple or... Uh, uh, an additional attack. One additional attack as the bonus action. If you burn a moxie, you get the old one too, meaning you could either you could do the two unarmed attacks. Uh, you could use stick and move, which makes a shove attack or the dash action. Or you could use your to the mat ability, uh, which lets you grapple and make a shove attack as part of the same uh, bonus action. Okay. I don't have stick and move. That must be from the other. Stick and move is uh, it's... your basic. No, it's like the basic three. One of the basic three things you can do. Uh, for some reason I didn't write that down. Okay, oh, yeah. so let me see if I get this. So if I do a normal attack, I have as an attack I have two unarmed attacks, and then. That does or does not include fisticuffs. Like if I was just making a normal two hand or er, normal attack. Uh, yeah. Give me one second. Because I automatically get fisticuffs, right? Yeah, you automatically get fisticuffs if you attack. So then, theoretically, if I was just attacking, it would be three attacks that I get. Yes, three attacks if you or... burn. Three attacks if you burn nothing at all. Uh -huh. Uh, four attacks if you burn a moxie and use the old one too. Okay. Uh, by default, if you use your main action, you get two attacks. Okay, so I've used one to attack the dude, and then I grappled the other guy. So I still have an attack, so I'm just gonna punch the dude that I have grappled, I think. If I can do that in the face. Uh, okay, yeah, you can do that. Put some hole in him. So go ahead and oh. roll your damage. <laughs> that will... <laughs> that'll knock that. No, no, actually, he's still hanging in there. But he's no in man. really rough shape. Super duper paratrooper. Yeah, so both of them are in pretty rough shape. Um, that will be your turn. And then each of these city guards is going to try and take a swipe at you. Uh, the second one does not hit. The first one does hit and deals 7 damage. You can take that or you can try and cross counter it. So the first guy that attacked me misses? Uh, the second guy that attacks you misses. The first guy that attacks you hits. Hmm. I feel like I could take the damage, but at the same time... Might as well use my abilities, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, just, just to learn them. Okay. I'll just, well keep, then... I'll just keep refilling your supply because it's more important to me that you learn these. Yeah, let's do the cross counter. Cross counter? Okay. Yeah. Fuck. 
anyways. 1d10. Wait, where is it? Get it back. 1d10 plus your... Plus 5. Plus 5? Uh, okay. usually, yeah, I believe so. Because it's your strength. 1D10. Yeah, it's uh, 1d10 plus strength mod plus level. Uh, yes. Eight. Yeah, so, so a d10 plus 5 plus 5. Can I just round up and do plus, or combine them and do plus 10? Or should I do plus 5 plus 5? It's it's one d ten plus five plus five, so it's okay. a d ten plus a flat ten. Well, yeah, I just didn't know if it mattered the way that I input that. Wow, nineteen. Yeah, so you reduce that to zero, which gives you a free attack on this guy if you like. All right, let's do it. Punch him again. All right, do it. Yatta. Aww. Um, three attack. Two, three damage. All right. Uh, that is enough to actually take this guy out. Nice. So yeah, he like swipes at you with your axe and you just kind of dodge out of the way, grappling him and just like bash him against the wall or something to take him out. And then I just casually fling him to the floor. Nice. One-handed. <laughs> Drop him like a mic. All right. Uh, and that just leaves this other guy. You guys go ahead and re initiative if you haven't already done so he actually did pretty well yeah so he's gonna try and take a swipe at you uh and miss pretty, pretty badly <laughs> all right so you're up what would you like to do uh, is he looking pretty ragged and worn um yeah he looks like he's had the shit kicked out of him which he has. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, so what I kind of want to do is just like pick him up and body slam him, but I don't know if that how that would be done or if that's allowed. Uh, Does that be you... grapple still? I would. Uh, let's see. Or should I just attack you're him and then gra grapple? You're grappling him and attacking. Him? Yeah, you would have to just. Uh... You could just use a bonus action to grapple him, uh, since you're going to attack him with your fisticuffs after that. We'll call that a body slam. So, uh, would I... Uh, shit. So would I be using, like, to the mat or something, or what would I do, you think? Um, actually, this would be your regular fisticuffs because your regular fisticuffs as long as you make an attack i mean if you want to knock him prone uh then you could call the to the mat yeah if you want him being prone to be part of it yeah i guess it doesn't matter uh i know this is all kind of convoluted i'm working on this button right now to i i have just realized that you have nine different things you can do with your bonus action and that's why this has been so complicated Oh, it's all good. It's fun, though. Oh, actually, uh... I feel like I'm trying to be too difficult. Let's just- let's just hit him on the face. Uh, no, actually, if- if you just want to do your- your damage to him, you're pretty much good to do it at this Well, point. I just want to, like, pick him up and throw him, you know, but... Yeah, sure. Uh, you can just make a grapple and then just toss him as part of your attack. If you're trying to pick him up and throw him, then that would be a to the mat because you're doing a shove attack as well. Let me... Okay. Can you? But I'm still gonna have to attack first, regardless. This is everything that you can do uh, with your Moxie right now. give this to you in the form of a button that you can use to reference your stuff. Hmm. To do. What 
let's see. I'm just... If he's almost down and out, I guess we should just attack him. Yeah. You can go ahead and knock him out right there. And punch! Nice. Alright. Uh, sorry, I posted that thing again because I am making you your button. Good. And if that wasn't enough, I'll punch him again. Hey, that was definitely enough. You just knocked him the fuck out. Slaps her hands together to wipe off the dirt that's not there. <laughs> display to be sure. Uh, Lexus, but there's no one there to witness. <laughs> Except maybe a frit y'all who's probably terrified at this point in time. Yeah, he's at this point he's just like holy fucking shit. This person is a nightmare. They're killing everything. Not killing him. He was worried that I couldn't handle myself. Uh, so are we meeting at four, do you know or what? I believe we are I have added that as a button. You should be able to just press that button. Yeah, there it is. Moxie. So you should be able to just press the Moxie button, and that little window will pop up, and that will let you see what all you can do with your Moxie. Okay, I'm gonna refresh the page real quick then. Alright. Get that going. I'm hoping traffic won't be too bad around now, because... I still haven't gotten, like, dressed, really, and... Yeah, I haven't either. I haven't gone to pick up butt or anything like that, either. I don't know how long it'll take me to get there. Probably not too long, but... You live, like, right around the corner from them, right? Oh, not anymore. I'm up on 12th and Enfield. Oh. Oh, shit. You're way up there. Yeah. <laughs> but you have a car now, right? Yeah. Like, it shouldn't take more than, like, you know, 15 minutes or something. I just don't know what traffic, like, how long it'll take. Uh, it might take a little longer. I don't know, because he'll probably tell me you got on Mopac. Alright, cool. Um, so here's what we can do for now. Uh, we will, like, kind of pause this session. Um, and we will finish it up later. Are you free to finish up tonight, or are you busy tonight? No, it should be fine. Okay, then hopefully we'll be able to knock this out tonight. Um... These little kinks that we're working out, like pressing the button so you understand everything you do, that's all stuff that this session is specifically for, so I'm glad we're knocking this out now rather than like when we're trying to move <laughs> the main plot along, you know. It's no problem, yeah. it's to be expected that you're still learning your character, especially when you're starting at a high level like this instead of a low level. Yeah. And overall in D and D I'm not greatly experienced, so yeah, that's, that's all good. I'm just gonna make a few buttons that so you can see like what sort of things you can passively do. Yeah. Uh, to make your life just a little bit easier. What the shit are you doing, computer? Oh god, it's like it doesn't do anything unless I fuck with it. Yeah, so I'll make a button for your moxie, I'll make a button for your passive effects. Force and I will probably go do our thing. And then we'll just meet you guys there. Moxie, nice. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't use Olivier in the campaign that we're doing now. She's yeah, pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah, she would be pretty monstrous. But you can see this is such an ultra powerful character. Uh, this this class. They're I'm they're surprised. basically a monk, because this is what monks do. Yeah, I'm just surprised that more people don't do it, I guess. Uh do what, pugilism? Yeah, or like grapplers, yeah. The well, the whole grappling thing is a. Uh, I mean, you kind of just gotta know what you Very can do. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta like the game enough to dig through all those rules and like understand what and how your playstyle works. Mm. Yeah, cause my cleric, the l stats are pretty low, so I was like, damn it, this could have been so much better. I feel, but. Alright. Your cleric? Yeah, cause like, compared to Olivier, like, all the stats are so fucking low, like, it's just awful. But... Yeah, well, I mean, your character's pretty beastly. Um, 
but I'm trying to simplify everything in the form of buttons that will allow you to easily reference what does what. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. 